Marvelous Engineering. Before us starting our video, if you doesn't subscribe our channel, then first click on subscribe option, then click on bell icon so that you can never mistake any update. Today, I am going to show you how to make a photo frame in CAD. So let's start. First, open Generative Shape Design window. After opening, click on the XY plane and click a Sketch. After that, you should draw a center rectangle and dimension it according to your necessity. I am going to put it 160 because I have measured my mesh size and it should be 120 ok now fill it after filling it assign this material to DIS star so for applying material click on apply material go to other Click on this star, just do it, apply, ok. Ok, now expand the part body, expand fill and double click on this star. After double clicking, here you see DIS. Go to texture. This option you should go. When you open it, it will be in the lighting mode. You should click here, texture. After texture, click on this option, DIS star, and select the image. And adjust it in this rectangle Ok, I think our image is adjusting well, after adjusting, click here apply, click on ok. When you see this type of killer, then just click on this star and trying to adjust your image. Uh, both sides will not be adjusting well, ok. Ok, your image set bell. After setting bell, you should go to part design window. So let's go to part design window. Here is our part design window. Click on XY plane. Wait, wait, wait. First, I should make it bell. Ok, now go to XY plane and draw a, click on a sketch after that you should draw again a center rectangle and giving the dimension more than 40 to this here it enters 160 so you should put it 200 for looking pretty and here you put 120 so you should put it 160 160 
okay after that you should click on pad and putting the length to mm click on preview doesn't matter of after that you should go to insert option and click on body after that you should click on body and move this fill to this you just selecting on it move it to that okay now here you have to click on apply material again and you should choose your a smoke glass and just paste it click on apply click ok after that after doing this now you should again draw a rectangle in this part what is so click on xy plane and see in which body our drawing is made here in this drawing body you should do that you should click on this sketch and move it to this body okay click on this and move to this after that exit from window again now click on this sketch and click on draw now make the center and according to a frame size you should adjust it there is no need of giving a proper dimension for it suppose i put it ok and now pad this which two limit first and second limit so click on padding here you click on more and one is three and one is two and three okay so remember this is three this will work in next the second limit is three you should remember that okay you should have to remember this three click on preview okay now again choose your display okay click on a sketch again and here you go and click on here white frame okay after that double click on this project to deal with and project this 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 and this okay after that pocket it and the length of pocketing it should be greater than the second limit and our second limit in the padding of this this is three so it should be four click on preview okay now click click here setting bit material now for looking pretty we should do a mistake here we should pad this and this in okay i should check it when i will apply material in this then if you saw here message then we, if you saw in if if apply material is covering all the profile then we have to move this and this to a new body so let's see what happens here when I put a material, a stone, brown oxy, yes, to look and error, to cover all the things. So we have to do is that we have to first make a new body. So make a new body and try to move these two things but it is not possible to move oh it is possible to move so it moves to this and now assign material to this body okay so click on apply material the previous step is you have to doesn't do it but it is wrong step 
Just I'm showing you how it will get here. Now you have seen that you have to move this to in new body. I am going to do it in part body two. You have to move it in part body three. Here you have part body three. Move this to pad and pocketing. I will show you which is our pad and pocketing. This is our first. Where I put limit two and three. Two and three. And this is our second pocketing where I put more than four. These two operations were done in new body. Yeah, body three. After that, you have to assign material according to your choice, according to your like. So for looking pretty, I am going to insert wood. Uh, no, no, no. I am going to insert this brown oxy painting. I am going to insert the wood type bridge. It look pretty. Yes, it will. No. Or I will put it a bridge. No. Crop. I'm putting a crop. No. So let's see, put anything according to choice. I'm going to put a bridge. Click on apply, click OK. Now you look. You should hide this. OK. Now, again, insert a new part body. You should remember this step now. You should have to pad and pocket it in the new body, not in this body. I am doing this in this body, then I move these two things in this body. So you should remember that you have to pad and pocket these two operation, these two operation in new body. So you have to remember this in your mind. Okay, let's move. Now again insert a new part body. Body. Just double click on it. Click on this plane. Click here. Okay. So we will die new, so I'm not going to do anything now. Take a three point rectangle. This is our three point rectangle, and we have to draw this, this, and this, and make the angle of this between this is equal to 45 degrees. Okay, now. Make a 3D line and make this with this to 45 degree. Now you should check if these both are equally distance. If you are not, then increase it. Now it should look well. Okay, exist from workbench and pad it to 20 mm. Now, after padding it, click again on this surface and click on cell thickness 1 mm. Oh, sorry, 1 mm. Okay, after assigning thickness, now choose the plane that is our this plane. Choose this plane, click on a sketch. And start drawing. Okay, now 
exit from workbench click on pad okay no problem click on thickness and here to go on plane and choose this plane preview okay mm, we have doing some error we have to pad it to plane is right but we have to select this plane so we cover all the things And we should increase the length of this also. This length should be increased. It's giving a lot of problem right now, so I am going to show you this. And we should change the sketch. We should make it not a straight. We should make it something like horizontal type. So delete it. And just move it okay now take again this okay now it look better Oof, this will decrease some length so Whatever we should decrease some length, and I'm just going to check it. It will be no. Okay, now it's look better. After that, we should click on here, jumper. Click on this edge and click on this edge with a distance of 20 mm. Let's check. Increase it. 50 no 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 more than enough suppose I put it 30 okay should be more greater than actually it is You should make this according to adjustment. What will look pretty? I am just doing a rough drawing, so let's see. You should make it in the bottom of this, so that you should inside this. I am making up, so you should edit this type of filler. Not I am going to making this because so large, so you should get hold. So you should edit this and this. Thing. You should take here in this surface, so that it will be inside it. Okay, and you should just uh, in increase this so that it will be outside. Uh, okay, 
Oke. So it is a photo frame is ready. Okay, I am going to assign this body to a material that is just good. Now I am going to show rendering in it. For rendering, you should now click on this. Click here. Now select image. this okay okay adjust it now go to custom and make full transparency okay Click on render. Just wait for completed. I should pause the recording for completing it. After completing, I should resume it. One thing I noticed while rendering my image that while putting this value for it will the image will get hard so you should put the value greater than 0.1 if your second limit uh, here your second limit is 3 look so you should put the value of pocket value is 3.1 only 0.1 or 0 0.05 should be greater than you should also put 0 0.01 The little less than the greater than it. Also put zero 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 one. No, no, you should put it here. Point zero one. So okay. If a second limit value is three, then you should put depth here. Three point zero point one. Okay. Then I start running it. Okay. Okay, so take in mind you should put the value if you put a value 3 then you should put this value to 3.01 okay 0 0.01 greater only after that I start reading Okay, click on start ending. Now see, it will not hide. Look, 
So you should save it. Just click here, save image. I'm going to save it in desktop with Mumi friend. Friends, sorry. And make it to JPG JPG. Click save. Image is saved. Now from this way you should make the photo frame and enter it. I will show you what you have to do it, but you have to keep in mind if you put this value equal to 3, then you should put this value to 3.01, not greater than greater than 0 0.01. Okay, just do it only. And one thing I do tell you that if these two things should be in not in the other body part three, not in the part two. Okay. Okay. So in this way you should you should try it at your home and if you face any problem then you should comment me or email me. And I'm showing you the image saved. And just go to desktop, click on friends. Wait for opening it. So here look. And the quality is very very high. So this is the way. You should do it at your home and if there's any problem, comment me or email me also.